worthy This is our prayer, Lord
there be more of you, our God, and less of us, Lord. Father, even today, as we hear your word, let there be, oh God, your word, God, brings life to each one. Let your word today, oh God, brings, oh God, joy in us today. And Father, pour out revelations upon revelations, the Lord. morning. Happy New Year. Maginam po ayta. The Bible says to pray for one another. I'd like to ask you to Get a partner and pray for one another. Pray that the word of the Lord would minister to each and every one today. Amen. So good nata. So this will be the last preaching that you will hear for 2017. Andam na ba mo Amen. So sumpay gyapon ni sa akong giwali last three Sundays. Inya. Dugay na ko giing na ni Lord ani nga message. Tuesday pa. Pero tungod sa kabisi, gabi pa na ko na buhat. So, alas dos na ko sa kadlao na uman o plaster ani. So, paminawan ninyo. <laughs> Amen. The title of the message is God, My Shield and Defense. Ini mga abay, God, My Shield and Defense. Okay, again, all my preachings all throughout the year has always been connected with Matthew 24 and 25. It's always been about preparation for what's coming. Praise the Lord, ang previous nga baha, um, zero casualty daw sa Cagayan de Oro. Nga naman, nangandam na no, naana tay experience, naana tay nabalan, natagam na. But I'm telling you, what's coming, with what's coming, according to the prophecy, ang atong pagpangandam kay spiritual it's not about physical and we need to understand that god is our shield did you know that one of the name of the lord is elohim karon pa kabalaan ni elohim misgab say with me elohim misgab misgab is m i s g a b misgab elohim means god misgab is defense 
you need to experience Elohim misgab. Like I said, when every name of the Lord has an attached character of it when it's written in Hebrew. El Gibor, El Roi, El Last last Sunday atong giwali was Jehovah Jireh. Remember that? God our provider. And we need to experience all the attributes of God. I want to share this with you. Um, 18 or 19 years ago, dugay dugay na no, I was attending an IFP IFP um, conference held here in Cagayan de Oro there at Price Plaza and I heard this pastor, is a foreigner preaching about Matthew 24 and Ingon siya, while he was reading Matthew 24, he said, I want you to tell me if these things are already happening. Okay? So, when he started on reading verse, um, as ito, katong, katong, watch out, no one will deceive you, many will come in my name. Ingon me nga, yes, it's happening. Remember, this was 20 years ago, or less, 18 18 or 17 years ago, Anna. Many will come claiming, Nana may mga false teachers ata. Yes, it's happening. You will hear wars and rumors of wars. Yes, it's already happening. A nation will rise up against nation. Yes, it's already been happening the last many years. Famines and earthquakes, it has already been happening. But when we reach verse 9, I want you to read Matthew chapter 24, verse 9. Remember, this was 18 or 17 years ago, okay? Verse 9 says, Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. Now, are we experiencing hatred towards Christianity today all over the world? Yes or no? Did you know that 17, 18 years ago, or even 10 years ago, or 5 years ago, this was not heard of. Wala ko kadungog o gnai worldwide hatred towards Christianity. So when we got, when we got to this verse, the pastor said, again, 18 years ago, he said, this is not yet happening. And I don't see how it would happen. Because 18, 17 years ago, there's a revival going on in, in the church. South, Afri South America, South, uh, in many continents, in most continents, that was 18 years ago, there's revival happening. Okay, in the 1990s, grabe ang revival, and then early 2000, wala pa na human. 1994, paingon sa entrance of year 2000, if you've been around, grabe ang revival ato. So we don't see this happening. In fact, that time, Christianity is growing. Christianity is growing and we, we, we don't see, I don't see how this would happen. So sige, may na kung saan ka ni kahit abo? Pidin mo, kusigyan na kung Do you see that there's a worldwide hating, ha hatred towards Christianity rising in the world? Yes or no? Siguro ang uban sa inyo, wala man siguro. But there is a brewing hatred worldwide towards Christianity today. Okay? Again, I do not see this. Wala, wala gina ako ni ma-imagine. Sige, sige may gano'n na, oh, saan ka gate nila? Na daghan man kahit ta. Niya grabe, gagrow man ang Christians. Today, Christianity is no longer the fastest growing religion. It's Islam. Can I remember pa ko sa iyang katong pastor nga Amerikano, ang ingon niya, malapit na, pero hindi pa. Pirmi na niya, balik-balik, malapit na, pero hindi pa. I believe if he, he I get to hear him preach again this uh, chapter, siguro mausab na. Mayroon siguro siya, malapit na talaga. <laughs> okay? This is how I see the hatred coming. 
last year when President Obama, last, was it last year, two years ago, President Obama embraced the LBGT. He signed a, a law allowing same-sex marriage in all 50 states of the United States. Ingon sila, where kumu mo at cinco no ang Amerika, ang tibok kalibutan, sip on, sip on on. Meaning, their point is, sa English pa, when America sneezes, the whole world gets cold. Their point is, whatever America does, it affects the whole world. When Obama signed that law allowing same-sex marriage, worldwide, grabe nga, nga um, uproar or celebration for the LGBT community. And it was a sad day for the church. And since then, there's an underground going on and we don't see it. We don't know it. And all of a sudden, makita nito nga, naana lang the idea. <clears throat> because there's not, wala mang gui, wala gui lain nga grupo nga, nga mo tolerate sa LGBT community. Wala lain nga, nga oh, except of course Islam. Miga, pidi sila ipa hinay lang kay Murag. Nunya, kusgan pagid akong mic. <laughs> Eh, Doara man siguro ka religion ang um, morag gakuntra gid ani. Okay? It's Islam and Christianity. Kung dito sila mag mag magwarawara sa Arab communities, patyon man sila. So dili hilom sila dito. But in Christian communities, they they can um they can fight back because we are a religion of love. Okay, so they're hitting the Western world and Christian communities. Now, when, when Mani Pacquiao made a comment about LGBT and his comment was based on the Bible, gibasa gid na ko to tanan daghan kay nang react. Do you remember that mga se, uh, LGBT celebrities in in the Philippines nagreact si Boy Abunda, nagreact si Isa Sigera nagreact. And thousands, dagan, I, I remember si Jinky Pacquiao naghilak kay grabe ko no ilang gakadawat nga hate messages. And then si Pacquiao dili kay he's a strong Christian, praise the Lord, wala gud siya nagpa wala gud siya nagpa nagpatan nagpatan dog even Nike gi withdraw ang iyang uh, endorsement. He lost millions then. Okay? So when I saw that, whoa, grabe ang hatred towards our faith. Okay? The Bible says in Matthew chapter 10, same gyapon siya nga context, in Jesus, you will be hated for my name's sake. Okay? Remember, they are not hating us. We, they are hating Jesus Christ. Now, Bob Jones, the prophet of love, said, Kani si Bob Jones, puro lang ni siya love. Prophet siya pero iyang prophecy, it's all about love. His teaching is all about love. And he died on February 14, 19, uh, 2014. He said, right before he died, he said, when the LGBT community goes out in the open, ingon siya, modern ning ingon ni Lord say, the Lord said this himself to him. His coming is at the door when the LGBT community comes out in the open. I'm telling you, two years ago, they came out in the open. Naana sila yung ipon karon. I remember in the 1990s or 1980s, dili kay na ni mo sila makita. Pero karon, kada lingi ni mo naana. Karon naana siya, naana sila sa gobyerno, naana sila sa business world. They're so powerful. Now let me just tell you how powerful they are. Okay? They are if you look at Google right now and search the word, the, the meaning of the word family, this is the, this is the meaning that, that you will find. Okay? A group of people composed of their partners and their children. 
or a group of people with two adults and their children. Is that the right definition of family? Kaya kung may kag-partner or group of people, pwede babae-babae, mag-adapt din silang mga bata, pwede lalaki-lalaki, mag-adapt din silang bata. And then, we are family. Is that God's definition of family? No. And I was really looking for the, the, the true meaning of family. Wala. So, yun akong wife, we have an old dictionary downstairs. Dili na namo gagamiton kay tungod ni Google. Ginaog mi dito, gitanaw namo, gipakli namo. Ang meaning sa family is this. A father, a mother, and their children. And now my question is, how did they change the meaning of family in the dictionaries? And, and I'm sure, ang mga dictionaries nga gibuhat last year o karon usab na ang definition sa family. That's not how God defined family. And they had the power to change it. These are powerful people. They're trying to redefine the world, our minds, even the books. Okay? Naana sila yung pang pasa. In other nations, naana sila yung mga libro nga accepting and promoting LGBT. Okay, by the way, today we have 26 nations, powerful nations, mostly Western and Christian, supposedly, they are now embracing same-sex marriage. And because of this, ang mga powerful ng mga LGBT, they're rising to, 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 sana, they're rising to promote their agenda. Did you know, inani sila kadato, they bought one, one Bible publishing company, Zondervan. And then, ang, an, Zondervan is uh, uh, famous in publishing the NIV version. In the 1990s and early 2000s, money siya ang uh, common or popular version. Gipalit ni sa mga LGBT. And right now, ang mga bago nga NIV, I'm not talking about the daan NIV, ang mga bago nga NIV, gi-edit nila. Inana sila ka isog. Gi-edit nila and gitangtang nila tong mga negative sa LGBT. Like nasa Leviticus, nasa Revelations, nga nakabutang dito, those who will live a homosexual life will have no place in the kingdom of God. In the, in the book of Leviticus, na ay dito nga, ang mga homosexuals, they will be stoned to death. They're changing it. Ilang gipang erase na anything that would go against their lifestyle, gi-edit nila ang Bible. Okay, and, and then many, many, many churches are adapting this. Imagine, inani sila ka-powerful ha, gi-erase nila ang definition sa Bible, uh, sa family, and then giusab nila ang Bible, and they're coming into our laws, okay? Do you know that in these 26 nations that have embraced same-sex marriage, the LGBT community are protected. They have, they have agenda, okay? They have agendas that could, that could, um, Persecute us. Okay? Kabalo ba mo nga sa Amerika, daghan mga negosyante or negosyo nga nasirado and right now, daghan mga negosyante nga gipang kasuhan. Ganun gikasuhan man sila. Kay naay duha kalalaki gusto magpakasal, ni duol sila sa isa ka-Christian nga baker, pagkabalo nga sa Christian baker nga duha kalalaki, Wala niya gi-entertain. Gi- gi- Ilang gi-demanda, nagsirado ang iyang negosyo. Na ay photo- photographer, dili siya mo service, anang nga kasal, gi-demanda. Now, I, what, these are just some examples and there are many that I have heard in America. Especially katong mga negosyo nila nga relating into wedding. Inana, sila, inana na sila ka-powerful. What about those Christians nga, nga ang ilang faith is in the Lord? There is no law protecting them. 
Now, the LGBT community in these 26 states, they're passing laws that's protecting their rights. And they had the Christian faith. And today, we have a pending bill in, in, in Congress. Oh, no, no, not in Congress. Kay, napasar na sa Congress. Are, did you hear this? Nakuratan na lang may December ang mga pastors. Nakuratan na lang, nakuratan na lang. In Congress, they passed the soggy bill. You know what a soggy bill is? The meaning of the soggy bill is sexual orientation, gender identity expression. Sexual orientation and gender identity expression. Meaning, anyone could express what gender they would like to, to practice. LGBT. Nadugangan na daw na. LGBT. Gakadaghan lagi na. And then, you know what? Right after ng LGBT, pwede na ka magminyo o mananap. It will follow. I'm telling you, it will follow. 20 years ago, unimaginable ng doha ka lalaki magminyo. That's unimaginable. Walay nakaunao na, Ana. Kadugayan, Ana, ang, 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 ang family, ma mausab na. Definition sa family. Dili na group of people, pwede na animal. In fact, there are states right now, um, wala pa ni nabalaod, but many right now are practicing bestiality. This is really, no, this is really kanang perversion. Nalabuan na nato ang Sodom and Gomorrah. Nalabuan na gin nato ang Sodom and Gomorrah. <clears throat> Look at this. One week ago or two weeks ago, naay dato kayo nga, lain man paminaw, no? Ingan nalang kung bayot, bayot siya. Dato kayo nga bayot sa Amerika, he donated 400 million dollars for the LGBT agenda. 400 million is like, pila na na? 2 billion something. Or, or more. And yeah. This is his word, okay? We're going to punish the wicked. Muni yang word. We're going to punish wicked. He declared war against Christianity. The word, uh, ang yang gitawag nga wicked there are those Christians who do not tolerate the LGBT community or the LGBT lifestyle. Now, he plans to use his immense wealth, corporate influence, and political network to target this is in America, to target states. Kinapa may mga states nga, they're protecting the pastors. Okay? Siya nga, he's going to target states that has laws protecting the religious freedom of Christians. And na isa ka state, I think it's in North Carolina, nga iyang pressure ang governor nga to take away the law that is protecting the pastors. And what he did was, he gathered 100 companies and he told them he told them his agenda and in siya we're going to pressure this governor to take this law out who's protecting the pastors and if he will not veto this law we will the 100 companies will withdraw from their state that's including coca-cola google mga mga famous and rich companies. So ang naita po, na, na pressure ang governor, iyang give ito to nga, nga balaod. And now the pastors there are unprotected. Okay? Now how did this happen? Right now, the LG, LGBT community in the Philippines is following the footsteps of the West. Ang ilang gabaton kay first, mo din yung gibuat. Na first, nagpasa sila og mild kay nga law protecting the basic rights of the LGBT community. Muning soggy bill. Okay? Ilan na nang gawaton kay modern nang gibuhat. <coughs> now, if you have no idea what the soggy bill is, ang, 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 gipasar na ni sa Congress, next year, pag open sa Senate, ilan na nang debatihan, kung mupasar ni sa Senate, Ningo naman si Duterte nga okay ko ana mapasar na gid ni siya. So what the Christians are doing right now they're gathering Christian senators. And 
ilang ka ipasabot. And hopefully and prayerfully, dili mo pasar sa Senate. Okay? Okay, sa first session sa Senate, mo, this next year, muna nilang storyan. Now let me tell, let me, let me, let me um, explain to you what the Soggy Bill is and what the future of the Christian community could be if can we tolerate this. The Soggy Bill is giving the LGBT community um, rights. Unya, bawal na sila kanang i-discriminate. Right? Ano sa din Anti-discrimination law against the LGBT community. Kaya nandun ko sa skwilahan ang mga bayot, permi na sila kansawan. Ah, bayot, bayot. <laughs> Nako na isa ka classmate, gamay kito siya, bayot. Gibuli sa dako kay na mga classmate, nga leader o fraternity, dako kay siya nang nihilak. Paghilak niya, suko, sa saka suko niya, iyang gisumbag tong Leader-leader sa prat, igo din eh. Gisi, hilak po siya. <laughs> Wala na siya kabalos, kaya di na siya kikita. My point here is, kung mapasar ni, bawal na sila i-discriminate. Bawal na sila surround. Now, at first glance, okay, kayo siya, di ba? Right? It's right, really protecting the right. It's anti-discrimination. I agree with that. Pero, Kita hinoon nga mga tarong, wala na ibalaod nga ga-protectar na to. Nga naman, yes, rightful po nga, dili sila laito, dili sila ibuli, pero ang may tabuan eh, kung mag-apply ta og trabaho, example, na isa ka lalaki nga tarong, nag-apply og trabaho, na isa ka lalaki nga, ano, nag-apply og trabaho, o nga pariha sila qualified, Pero ang gipili sa kumpanya kay ang lalaki, masuko to si Ana, mudimanda. This is discrimination. So ang katunay nung tarong, walay balaod nagprotektar niya. And these are just some things nga nakita nato nga, even in this stage, mawada na tag rights. And if mapasar ni, mas pabor na ang balaod sa mga LGBT. And then, Do you know that we have a transgender congressman? The congressman from Bataan, nakalimot ko siya ang alan. Siya ang gaan sana, yun siya nga. Yun siya, he was interviewed in the in, in CNN, yun siya nga. Actually, first step lang ni, kay gasunod sila sa mga Western world. This is how the Western world did this. First is, nag, nagpasa sila o soft bill protecting their rights. Of course, mupasar yun, kay it's rights, mga human rights, Ad, uh, activist manggutong mga ako ng human rights advocate manggutong mga western world ini siya ang sunod din ani same sex marriage ang sunod din ana kay taking away the 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 kanang mga mga religion nga gago against same sex marriage and paspas kay sila mulihok imagine na na redefine nila ang bible na redefine nila ang word sa family And in, may, in these 26 nations, they already have rights protecting them. And right now, dagan mga nations spending ang mga laws, ani, including the Philippines. So, kung mo, musulod ni, I'm sure, dili pa mahuman ang 2018, na bill about same-sex, na, na plaster na na. And then kung masulod na, na analin to yung mga bills nga, Yeah, persecuting Christians. I'm telling you, the next three years will be challenging for the true Christians. Okay? Bawal na rin tamuwali against LGBT. Ingnan na rin ang Bible nga. Ang Bible kay dili siya um, sa tawag na um, dili siya acceptable sa time that we live in. And many will be persecuted. So, by then, dili na siguro ko mag-renew sa akong license to solemnize. Kay kung nai magpakasal sa ako, o niya dili na ako kaslon, preso si pastor. Wala pa na, may tabo, pero it could happen. It's happening in many nations now.
Now, my point here is, basing matingala mo ba? Nga, di ba, pastor, ang imong wali kay? Isa ganito ang title sa kong wali? God, my shield to niya. You're talking about LGBT. I'm, I'm talking about our future. This is prophesied and we are going to be persecuted worldwide. And when this persecution comes, and I don't know, grabe mangud sila muliok, underground, paspas, powerful. Like, kung sa'yo nahitabo sa Congress, wala takabalo, wala agi open. Imagine, 109 congressmen voted for this bill and zero ang ni go against. Grabe yun nga pagkahanay. Nakurat na lang ang mga Christians. Sana na na dahil ni, paingon na sa Congress o sa sa Senate. So, ayaw pa din nagliyok ang mga pastors. Right now, nagpanik na sila. They're trying to contact the Senate. But I believe um, if this will not happen in the Philippines, it's going to be happening worldwide. Now, when this comes, na mga balaod nga mo persecute sa Christians. And by the way, if you read throughout histories, this is not something new. It has already happened before many times. Now, if this happens, magpadayon pa bagya punta sa tong pagtoo. Huh? There will be no rights protecting us. Muni akong na-imagine. Lisod na isimba. Kani yung mga bayo at gaatang mo persecute sa ato. Na yung mga, 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 I believe, sa mga in front of, this would happen, okay? In front of churches, Many LGBT community yung magrally dito. Okay, they're doing this in many nations now. Maghubo sila, magritual, magnasili pang buhaton dito. Kamulog ang simbay. Nana. And we will be the wicked ones. Ingon sa ingon to mga LGBT community, okay? The true Christians are the wicked ones. Mo nang word nga gigawa sa ilang baba. They are the wicked one because may pa nila, love wins. They don't love us. Love wins. Muna ilang, ilang hashtag, di ba? Love wins. This is what I see in the future. And are we prepared for this? We need to prepare for this. That's why we need to experience God. Kung sa ganito, Elohim means God. God our shield. God our defender. God our vindicator. Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. Okay? When God introduced himself to Abraham, he said, Do not fear. Abraham, I'm your shield. Your great reward. Okay. So pag introduce ni Lord kang Abraham, ang first niya nga gingon, Ayaw kahadlok. Ako ang imong, si binisaya sa shield, panagang. Ako ang imong dipinsa. Okay? There's going to be <coughs> a persecution coming to the church. But if you don't, if you have not experienced God as your shield, you will be shaken. If you have not experienced God defending you, you will be shaken. Psalms 18 verse 2, The Lord is my protector. Ganahan kay ko aning word. I saw a picture ng ang mga armored tank sa sa Military dito sa Marawi, dako kay ilang gisprehan. God is our protector. Okay? And I heard one story of a Christian commander every morning dito sa Marawi. Every morning, 5 a.m., he would gather his company and they would pray every day. And report said, katong nga company, company, walay maskig isa na matay. Praise the Lord. Katong uban ko ng mga company nga dili gampo, dagan nga matay. And I've heard this story in World War I, World War II that the Christian uh, com- commanders, sige sila pray every day before going to war, walay na matay sa ila. God is their protector. They have experienced Elohim misgab. God, our shield. My question to you is, na ba may experience nga ang ginoo nagprotektar ninyo? Naaba mo experience nga ang ginoo? Naaba mo testimony nga makai- ma-share ninyo nga ang ginoo ni dipinsa sa inyo? You have to have these experiences because 
when all these things come attacking us, you will know that you have a protector. Uh, two weeks ago, last week, we've talked about God as our Father. Kabalo ba mo ang say isa ka quality sa isa ka Good quality of a father? A father is not just a provider, but he's also a disciplinarian. Sa pa to? Um, loving. And another is protector. Amen? When we go through this tribulation up ahead of us, we need to hold Father's hand and walk through the valley of shadow and death. Amen? We need to have an experience of God protecting, protecting us. God is called, also called shepherd. Kinsaman ang tupa, kita. Di ba wala man tagitawag nga ang mga lion sa ginoo. Siya ang lion of Judah. But wala tagitawag og lion sa mga ginoo. We were called, we are called the, lamb, uh, the sheep of God. The sheep of His pastures. We are called the sheep. Remember, many months ago, I showed you na ang sheep, isa sa character sa sheep, dili mo atake. Okay, kung abrihan ni mo ang baba sa sheep, ang ibabo na puro na bagang. Wala na siya tango. Pero ang lion, ang tiger, gi, gitawa, gi, gidesign na sila ng mga mananap nga mo atak. But the Bible does not call us to become a, to be a, a lion or a, a tiger. We are called the sheep. Ini mga bay, sheep ka. Ipakita yung mong bagang. <laughs> so, a sheep needs a shepherd. One work of the shepherd is to protect the sheep. That's why naana siya rod. To protect and to defend the sheep. Munang trabaho ni David. Now, I'm telling you, the next three years will be crucial for the true church. We will have enemies. We will have enemies. We will have enemies who hate us with passion. Di ba sa Bible? Many will be persecuted and be put into prison. This is how the prophecy will come, through loss. Mga balaod. Mugawas na na si mong baba nga ni-discriminate ka niya na record or na videoan. Ah, preso. Okay? Basing maabot ang panahon nga, bawal na i-record ang mga wali. Labi na kung ang wali kay against their agenda. Pwede ta mapriso. So karon wali ta nga hantod sa hantod kay wala pa may balaod. Kung maabot na ang balaod, wali lang gyapon. <laughs> Pero mag-assign na siguro kung mawali ana. <laughs> we will have enemies. We will, we will have people who hate us. That's prophesied. We will have laws probably, I'm praying not in the Philippines, we will have laws that will persecute the Christians. There will be many anti-Christian laws that will be passed. And if you do not act, if we are not prepared, we're going to be shaken. Okay, are you seeing this happening? Okay? Katong mga wars, rumors of wars, nahitabo naman na. Pero kani, it's happening right before our eyes. Now, I have a testimony about many people here, ako ang, ako ang ipang gather, on how they experience the, the protection and the defense of God. Many Christians do not experience the shield or the defense of God. Kay tungod, every time we are attacked, naturally, we defend ourselves, right? Hello? Di ba kung naimo ataki sa imo, ang imong natural instinct kay, dipinsaan imo imong kagalingon. You have the right to defend yourself. That's everyone's right. So ang may tabo, kita ang nidipinsa sa tong kaugalingon, dili ang ginoo. That's why most Christians, when attack, dili nila makita ang milagro sa ginoo kay sila man ang mubalos. Okay? I want you to experience the Lord our shield, the Lord our defender by doing, by following this um, following this unsa itawag ani tips I, i would call tips kinsa na nay gi persecute din he kinsa na nay gi attack din he wala mag mali ingon ra ba sa first a uh, second timothy those who would follow christ 
will be persecuted. If you are not persecuted because you're following Christ, maybe you're not following Christ. Hello? Those who follow Christ, it's written in the Bible, those who follow Christ will be persecuted. So, if you encounter persecution, if you encounter discrimination because of your faith, I want you to do this. Number one, do you want, to, do you want the Lord to be your shield? Or do you want to shield yourself? Let the Lord shield you. Amazing kaya ang vindication ni Lord. Anya mo niya nabalan. When the Lord, kumu revenge si Lord para sa imo, maluoy ka. Maluoy ka sa nagdaot sa imo. Okay? <clears throat> How to experience His protection? Number one, when someone attacks you or discriminates you or curses you, number one, don't defend yourself. Ini mga bay, don't defend yourself. Like I said, naga na mo ataki sa ato, naga na mo ataki sa ato, natural na ito ang reaction is, mubalos. Kanang mubalos, dili na sheep, lion siguro na, or tiger. Remember, we are not lions, we are not tigers, we are sheep. Ang sheep, walay tango, bagang ranatana ng ibabaw. Kung saan niyang balos? First reaction sa sheep when it comes to trouble is dagang gina sila. Kung layo, layo na ang kontra, ayaw pa rin sila mulingi and they would assess the danger. Do not defend yourself. Romans chapter 12 verse 19 Never take revenge, my friends, but instead, let God's anger do it. For that scripture says, I will take revenge. I will pay back, says the Lord. Lisod ni? Lisod ni? Imagine na ganit ka ron. Nai bayot. Nang haway sa imo. Nang lait sa imo. Tungod sa imong pagtoo. Niyagi para mas tamasan ang imong pagtoo. Ang imong Biblia. Ang imong ginoo. Ano saan man imong buhaton? Yung kag, hmm, bayot ka. Agi-record. Dimanda na yun. Agay. <laughs> That will come. That will come. Hello, are you seeing this? Now, I, I, I'm not, I'm not teaching that's written in the Bible. Many will be persecuted and many will be put in prison because of my namesake. I could never imagine that 20 years ago because we are a religion of love. How come our faith Tungod sa tong faith, mapriso ta. Siguro kung nata sa Arab, Arab nations. But that would come to us. So, when somebody persecutes you or attack you, number one, do not defend yourself. Iyan po nga, Lord, ikaw na balos. Ikaw na ang mubalos sa ako. Number two. Okay? Wait for the Lord. Ikaw na lang ang usahin mang God kay gusto ta nga Lord balusir o God ni karon da yun. Ha? Uh-huh. Gusto na ta nga pareha ni Paul ba nga nga katong magician bita ingin na ni Paul mabuta ka. Ha? Uh-huh. Kung pwede lang inanawa no. Kung bayuta ka mabuta ka. Kung pwede lang inana. Pero usually, mga God, ang defense ni Lord kay Dugay, it could take months, years. Okay, merciful, mga God, si Lord, magulat, lang na, magulat pa siya sa tao na mo repent. Okay. Ayaw po, pag-ampo nga, Lord, dili yung taan ni mo repent, aron makabalos ko. Wait for the Lord. The defense of the Lord will not come immediately. I'm telling, I assure you that it will not come immediately. Because God is a merciful God, He will wait for that person to repent. And while waiting, you pray for that person. You pray for their salvation, for their repentance. You pray. Psalms 33 verse 20, Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. There's that word again, help and shield. 
So maghulat kita nga ang ginoo mo yung mabalos sa ila. Pero ayaw po pag-ampo nga mabalos ang ginoo sa ila. Okay, I'm telling you, kung mabalos ang ginoo, ngilngig kayo. Ngilngig yung kayo. This is what happens when the Lord when the Lord restrains His His protection from the people. Ang buhato na na, it's not that ang ginoo mo yung mo, mo, mo kastigo sa nagkontra sa ito, but He will He will give permission to the devil to attack the person. So, kwao niya ang yung protection. Okay, you can attack that person gaya mag-ulo. Di ba, si, si Paul, hand that person over to Satan. The Lord will hand the person to Satan. And makita niyo mo, ngilngigid kayo kung ang ginoo mo, mo withdraw sa presence. Number three. Praise will vindicate us. Okay? Do not defend. When somebody attacks you, don't defend yourself. Just wait for the Lord. You pray. And then, praise. Say with me, praise. The Lord protects and defends me. Psalms 28 verse 7. I must, I trust in Him. He gives me help and makes me glad. I praise Him with joyful songs. Kung nai nag-attack sa mo, praise the Lord. Kung sa'yo mo ang favorite nga praise song. Ha? Huh? Isa? You just begin to declare the goodness and the awesomeness of God. Ha? Huh? You, you sing, God is awesome. God is great. Ha? Huh? Diba kaya kung magsigi ka guna-una sa nag-persecute sa'yo mo, maglagot ka sa mot. I praise na nan si Lord. Na kay problema ani nga tao Lord, he's persecuting me. He's persecuting us. Yes, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Mawala na ang imong kalagot. Mapulihan na siya ang spirit of grace, mapulihan na ang peace, mapulihan na ang compassion towards the other person. Okay? Another Psalm, Psalm 59:17, I will praise you, my defender, my refuge is God, the God who loves me. Okay? Praise Him. <coughs> that is a very powerful tool. You have smartphones, you have um, earpiece. Worship Him. Praise Him. Natoy one time nawalaan ta og nakawatan ta nakawatan ta og Mahalon to niya. Gi-entrust na to sa ako sa gatekeeper. 40,000. Ako, asa mo kumukuha o ibayad ani ha? Ako ang gibuhat kay the whole time nagsigil ang kanta. Ako ang kanta kay How great is our God. How great is our God. And then at the end of the day, nabalik siya. Praise the Lord. You need to praise the Lord. Praise will vindicate you. Lastly, kung grabe good ang persecution, niya life in debt na, it may, this may come to you, nga ang persecution na to, life in debt na, this is what you need to do. You need to learn this. Okay, kung dili kakabalo, kung sa'yo mong buhato na ni, maabot ni nga panahon, good luck. Pray and fast. Kung life-threatening na, in danger na yung family, yung life, you pray and fast. I remember one testimony ni Pastor Roy. <clears throat> Dito sa ilang church sa Balungis, ang abay gid nila nga lute, na ni Puyo Muslim, nagtukod o balay. Pagtukod sa balay, gilahos sa ilang boundary. Gikural pati ang ilang property. Pagsugod og kalot ana siya nga, "Uy, sir, sir, nara among mohono ni Laos na kaamo na ni." Ana de ang Muslim mo, unsa may problema? Ipakita ang yang bilbil, gilibita. Nay pusil gi ana gibutang. Ana siya, unsa may problema? Unya dagan sila. Ang gibuhat ni Pastor Roy ni ni atras siya. He was thinking about his family. 
Ano-ano ko nahadlok siguro to sa pastor ito. Dili man to mahadlok kay kuratong baliling man to. Anad to mang hold up og og bangko dito sa Osamis. Tao to ni Parohinog. Pero pastor naman siya, wala na niya gibuhat. He did not defend himself. He kept silent. But what he did was he prayed and he fasted for three days. Naman siya mga anak. Niya, silingan na niya. After sa iyang fast, within that week, natingala siya, gisibog ang kural. Gabi ba? Amazing kayong fasting ba? Pray and fast. Gisibog ang kural. Niya, nadungga na lang din niya, kay silingan na ba sila. Ingin siya, kanang nag- after a few days siguro, okay-okay na ilang relasyon, ingon itong Muslim, Uri, daghan man di kikag mga bodyguard di ang adagko ba? Tanaw ni ang siya na may dako, kaya mga anak gagmay pa man, nagyan ang asawa. Siya nga mo ba? Kami-kami naman, hili, oy, daghan ka kauban di, kada gabi, dagko kayo, gatanaw sa amo. Galing niya ako, no? Katanong sila, ano? Sibog ang koral. Fast and pray. Do you want to experience God your defender? God your shield? You're going to need this in these coming days. You're going to need Jehovah Jireh. You're gonna, you're gonna need Elohim. Kung sa ganito, Miss God. God our defender. God our shield. And you're not gonna experience God your defender, God your shield if you revenge If you if you will attack, if you will not praise, you follow these steps. Okay? Psalms 48 verse 11, For the Lord God is, our, is a sun and shield. The Lord give grace. More than in the next verse. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing does He withhold from those who are righteous. Lastly, walk in righteousness. Inay mo abay, walk in righteousness. Because according to the psalm that I just read, Psalms 84, the Lord will defend the righteous. Protektaan sa ginoo ang matarong. Amen? So I'm sure there's more, pero kanila sa akong i-share, okay? Kay umana tong time. <clears throat> Again, remember, don't defend yourself, wait for the Lord. Unsagit tong isa, sunod. Praise Him. When your life is in danger, pray and fast. And then, walk a righteous life, and you will experience the shield of the Lord. Now, I have lots of testimonies on how the Lord protected me, okay? The Lord can protect your investment. The Lord can protect you. There are, every day, I know the Lord is protecting us. Wala lang takabalo. Kung pila ka lamok sa dinggi iyang gilikay, kung pila ka aksidente iyang gilikay, wala, wala lang takabalo. Like my children, wala sila kabalo nga, giprotektaan na din ako sila. They don't have to know. But many times, I'm sure, every day, the Lord is protecting us. Especially if we are walking in righteousness. I remember one time, hantod ka ron, kakatingala, gyapon ko, nagsakay mig barko, paingon mi sa sa Cebu, Ariella was like six months or eight years old, um, eight months old, na na, gamay pa kayo. Ako siyang gisakwat din eh. O niya, Gusto na ako ipakita sa iya kay first time sila kasakay ng barko, ang dagat. So nigawas ko dito sa kilid sa barko, di ba ka ng mga barko, bugat kay ng mga portahan niya, taas kay mga imong tikangan. Pag abri na ako sa portahan, gitikang ko, pag tikang na ako, nasangit akong tiil, natumba ko. Remember, Ariella was like six or eight months old. Kabalugid ko nga, mo, matumba na ko, so akong kina, na, na, nasangit ba akong tiil? Yan na yung railing, di agagunit ko. Pa, paanan na ko, I remember, akong yung gibuhat kay, nangusog ko, kay naman diri si Ariella. Ako na, 
ma- madatugan gin ako ning bata. So nangusog ko. Pag pangusog na ako ni a- anak na kaisanan, natingala ko, natingala lang ko kalit nga, nagtindog na dahil ko. Tingala ko, naon sa mantog kay tabo? Ingin si Majos, siguro kung na CCTV ato, amigo, makita ni mo. Until now, gawonder ko, how did that happen? I'm telling you, there are many times that the Lord protects you because you are His child. You are, are you're, walking in, you're walking in righteousness. I have so many examples here, pero laos naman ta. I will end with this. I'm sure you got the point. There's dangerous times coming ahead of us. We are going to be persecuted. There's going to be trouble. Okay, there's going to be persecution. You need to experience the Lord your shield. Amen? Last na lang. Last na lang. Sa Manila, grabe mangingilad yung taxi dito, di ba? Na ay taxi driver nga nag-ilad sa ako. Gituyok-tuyok ko, lagot ikod ako kay kong nabayaran. Pero wala na lang yung ko, nitingog. Huwag ko nitingon ko nga, Lord, I bless this person. Ako na lang yung giampuan. Huwag siyang gi-bless. Tayo kayang gituyok sa ako. Noon ako nga, pwede mang kumingon nga, kung na lang ni bayaran, mag-away, away ko ni, dili ko ni bayaran, kaya di, di ba, sa'yo pa yung gibuat sa ako. May naitabo, okay, pag naog na ako sa taxi, pag naog na ako sa taxi, kay, ang iya din gihunungan, kay, bawal siya dito, gidakop siya. Kanya, <laughs> nadungga na ako sa guard. Ah, one five yan. <laughs> Ana rin ko, da, lagi. <laughs> Joke lang. The Lord will revenge for you. Di ba, ingon sa Bible, those who curse you will be cursed. Those who bless you will be blessed. I'm not saying, uh, kung naagani mo, curse sa imo, bantay ka, mubanda na sa imo. Not like that. But when somebody curse you, you pray for them. If they don't repent, the curse will be upon them. Amen? So, let the Lord defend you. Let the Lord be your shield. Let the Lord vindicate you. Just follow those steps. Amen? I want you to grab a partner and pray for one another. <coughs>